Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Ruth and I am a co-founder of Silvercrest Coffee Farms. Today we will be discussing um, coffee handling and most of, it, most of us know it as uh, pruning. Um, it's a very easy process but most of us are not aware of how to go about it. Um, people practice different practices in their farms. So what I'm going to show you here today is what I do in my farm. And you are also free to share what you do in your farm. Sharing is caring. But don't come and gaslight me on my channel and tell me I'm mean where I'm trying to share information. Having said that, if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe and let us know if this content is helpful to you yeah so let's get into it like um coffee isn't just a beloved morning ritual as we all know uh it's a global industry that supports supports millions of farmers but behind every cup is a complex journey and one of the most important yet overlooked Steps in sustainable coffee production is pruning, as we are going to discuss today, or also called, um, also known as handling. So it's not just about trimming the branches, like you can just see um, what we are doing in our farm right now. It's not just cutting branches. What we are going to discuss today is maintenance handling. Um, the, at this stage, the coffee beans have already developed and what you need to do is to cut the unnecessary um unnecessary uh secondaries that you do not need if if this is your probably the first year of production because all the all the coffee beans are on the primary and not on the secondary bushes so today we'll be pruning or handling the secondary br uh, branches so what you need to do as you can see on um, the images is um, count from where the main stem is to where the first secondary branch is it should not be less than six inches it should be six inches the first secondary branch should be six inches from the main step and again i'm gonna put a disclaimer here this is what i do in my farm if you have any other practice that you do in your farm that is well and good so six inches from the main branch to the first secondary so if the secondary is facing up or below you should remove those the branches that you need are those that are parallel to the main to the primary um so six inches from the main stem you, that's where you start counting the first secondary and it needs to be balanced on both the left side and the right side so count six inches from each of the secondary and remove any extra why are we doing this we are doing this to eliminate all those unnecessary secondaries that are consuming the nutrients and the water that should be going into the main um into the coffee that we need to have a uh, bigger bigger berries okay so um for every plant you have to do this you have to to make sure that you have at least enough secondaries that will be used in the next year to generate your coffee beans and i'll tell you why this is because once you harvest the coffee beans from the main primary you're not going to have the same primary generate generate um coffee beans in the next year so we are going to depend on the secondaries to give you the harvest for the second year before the wounds that you're gonna harvest this year heal and then probably they can generate um more coffee beans in the third year i hope everybody is following what i'm what i'm saying here but this is what i practice in my farm so make sure you're following the video it's more interesting when you watch it meanwhile why do we do all this it stimulates new growth it also maintains an ideal tree shape and size 
you're removing old also in the process you can remove the old and deceased branches and improve air circulation and sunlight towards the end of the video you're going to see uh coffee uh plants that have already been uh pruned or we've done handling and you'll see how the branches are free from each other and the coffee plant is aerated it's an essential practice that directly affects the quality and quality of the coffee beans why is this um necessary why and why does it matter it boosts plant health and yields sustainable pruning removes unproductive wood and allow energy to flow into healthier more productive branches this leads to better bean quality and more consistent yields year after year so you don't miss on a yield on the next year i've heard people complain that they did not harvest the next year especially when they plant specific species but that's because you're not doing the right thing so it also prevents disease and pest outbreaks good airflow and light penetration reduces the risk of fungal infection and pest infestation when a plant is free from so many branches it gives um better um, there, there there's less infestation clean targeted cut minimizes plant stress and reduces the need for chemical treatments everybody who's growing coffee at some point has to use um some chemical but it doesn't have to be too much when you do the right pruning you give the plant aeration that helps the plant to stop um to stop um circulation of, of diseases from one plant to the other it also promotes soil ecosystem health pruned branches can be mulched or, co or composted yeah this we just leave them under the plant we don't burn them um and you don't have to discard them it reduces the farm's reliance on synthetic fertilizers once you do this a couple of years you realize that it's it's helpful for the formation of soil structure so as we discussed this is a form of maintenance handling and what are the long-term benefits sustainable proving uh, pruning sorry is not a one-time task like after this we are going to do um another pruning like um two months apart just to come back and see that the plant is um has not grown any extra secondaries because we don't want to have more than we need and if you fail to do this practice like um, maybe two months apart you still especially now that it's raining if you're in a place where it's raining you should prune those extras like two months apart so that in the next year you have a good crop that will um will good uh, a good plant that will yield the necessary the necessary crop extends the it extends the productive life of a coffee tree you don't want a bush in your farm you want proper coffee trees it also reduces dependency on chemical inputs it enhances biodiversity and soil health it increases the economic st stab stability of farming communities everybody who does farming is exactly happy about coffee especially uh, right now everybody is happy about growing coffee so doing the right practices will keep you in the game in the long run so in conclusion every cup of coffee starts with a healthy tree uh, without us there will be no coffee in the world and sustainable pruning is a key ingredient in that success by investing time and care into the essential practice we can grow better coffee protect the environment and create a more equitable future for everyone in the supply chain i will want to thank you all for tuning in to this episode i am thankful for all the subscribers and all those who've reached out to buy our coffee if you're here and you're still interested in buying from us feel free to reach to us via our email and also if you're new to our channel welcome and see you later
Hey!